Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk thinks the global economic decline could last for another year and a half. In a Twitter exchange early Friday morning Eastern Time, the mercurial electric car executive and world's richest man said a recession could continue until spring of 24. The remarks came in response to a tweet from Shibatoshi Nakamoto, the online name for Dogecoin co-creator Billy Marcus, who noted that current coronavirus numbers are actually pretty low. I, sick, guess all we have to worry about now is the impending global recession and nuclear apocalypse. It sure would be nice to have one year without a horrible global event, Musk replied. Tesla owner Silicon Valley, a Twitter account with nearly 600,000 followers, then asked Musk how long he thought the recession would last, to which he replied, just guessing, but probably until spring of 24. Global GDP grew 6% in 2021 but is expected to decelerate to 3.2% this year and 2.7% in 2023, according to the International Monetary Fund. That would mark the weakest pace of growth since 2001 outside of the financial crisis in 2008 and the brief plunge in the early days of the COVID pandemic. The Federal Reserve Project's GDP in the U.S. to grow just 0.2% this year and 1.2% in 2023. Musk becomes the latest corporate titan to express reservations about the economy. In a tweet Wednesday, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos said it's time to batten down the hatches in preparation for rough economic waters ahead. That tweet accompanied a video of Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon, who said in a CNBC interview that he thinks there's a good chance of a recession in the U.S. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon also has been warning of economic turmoil ahead. Musk's comment also came amid a rough week for Tesla. Stock as the automaker missed revenue estimates and cautioned about a potential delivery shortfall this year. During the analyst call, Musk expressed more confidence in the U.S. economy than other parts of the world. He also noted the impact that interest rate increases are having on the economy. The U.S. actually is in, North America is in pretty good health, he said. A little bit of that is raising interest rates more than they should, but I think they'll eventually realize that and bring back down, I think. However, he said China is in quite a burst of a recession of sorts driven by the real estate market, while Europe has a recession of sorts, driven by energy. Data shows that 80% of people watching my videos are not subscribed. Remember subscribing is free it only takes a couple of seconds and you can unsubscribe at any time. Please help me and my channel by subscribing. Now back to the video.